Hello, and welcome again to my little fly tying room. Uh, today I thought that I would tie one of my favorite flies for sea, sea trout fishing in the early spring when the uh, the chrome once comes up to the river a little bit later in the season when it gets a little bit warm in the water and uh, and uh, try to find something to eat and then I will hope they will find this one. So I will try one of my favorites. It's almost like a a Sill and Wilkinson Sea Trout Samurai. And we will start to tie on. Here I have tied together two uh, uh, Evil Magenta in uh, medium and extra small and tied them together with a, we are cut a little edge as always. And we will start with a little bit of Mirage Tinsel. And tie in the back. I made this tube a little bit longer because when I fish for sea trout I use a little bit longer tubes than when I fish for salmon. Like that and just tie it in. Cut it off, and on this fly, I thought that I would have a diamond pearl SSS braid as ribbing, and on the body, evil magenta. So it, the body and the first wing and everything will be very magenta. I tie it in on my side and then I go back so I cover up the where I tied in the thread and start with the body magenta body cover up the thread and wind your way forward with quite tight turns Stop it about here because I will have a little dubbing here, then with the wings and hackles, and a little more dubbing. Oh, well, I will end the fly with the hackles, so first a little more dubbing after the wings. And here I have mixed the Evil Magenta Glitz with Evil Magenta regular dubbing to get it really nice and flashy. So it's easy to see for the hungry fish. And here I don't put on as much as I will do in front because I want it to be a fat fluffy drop form on this one. So I think this is enough to have behind the wings mm. and then we wind on our ribbing by spinning it and then we try to wind it on with even nice turns and I pull it down a bit into the dubbing like this then I go a bit forward and then I fold this back so it gets really durable and then we cut it off and we brush it with our Fitz tool dubbing brush to get out the strands from the dubbing. this it's enough and now we will start with the first wing which is a magenta wing I'll take away a few of the longer strands because I want this one to be fat and fluffy and 
and then we take away a little bit of the fluff in the back like this and between our thumb and the index finger and then we pull in the middle as always so we get a little taper on this one not too long because I will have two more wings but this is gonna be the fattest one and a loose turn pull down one two three four five make sure that it's wide down on the sides like that and then we just cut away the waist And here you don't have to be so thorough because we will fill up with dubbing afterwards which I really like about these flies and no we will have some evil magenta angel hair first because this is a spring fly that will swim in really cold water I use quite a lot of strands because I want this fly to be seen easily for the fish make sure to spread it so it gets wide over the wing and one turn and then fold it back spread it check so it's spread you can pull them little to the sides if you want them to be a little wider like that and then I cut these off a little bit longer than the longest strand of the magenta like this and now it's time for the gray wing and this is a little bit thinner than the first one and the tapering is good I want it to be a little bit longer than the magenta too but down on the sides so a loose turn one two three four five I pull it a little so it gets down more on the sides that looks pretty good we pull away the ones that didn't get stuck yeah so far so good and now I will put on the longest wing which is gonna be a thin black a thin black long wing so it's magenta gray and black and then we will put on more dubbing in front here and then the really fluffy magenta hackle and then a black a few turns of black hackle before we put on the tungsten turbo comb so here I pull in the middle to get a good taper on the black and this is gonna be a little bit longer like this a little veil and press it down with your thumb so it gets flat on top and then a loose turn Pull down one, two, three, four, five. Check so it landed good. It needs to go down a little bit on your side. Just pull it. That looks better. Oh, we have a pretty long fly here with a wide wing, and I think it looks really good so far. I will fish this one for the fat sea trouts like that and now maybe we should put on a few peacock hurls on top here in magenta I think we try to do that it's always nice and I put them between my fingers and I spread them a little bit and I try to tie them in all at once I think this is five strands 
They're like glued together, so no. Like this. And try to get them to be as long as the black. At least almost as long as the black. And then I just make one turn. And two turns, not so tight turns, and then I can adjust them on top of the wing to where I want them. Maybe a little more down on your side here too. And that one back. Come on. There, I'm satisfied. And now I pull hard to put them in the right place. That looks pretty good. And now I will cut these off, of course. And then we will use quite a lot of dubbing and uh, brush that out. This is to make a really fat front. And wind this on as close to the wings as you can without pressing down the wing. And now we'll use a little bit more or quite a bit more. This fly is going to swim in my home river next week, if the, the, the weather allows it, because now it's really much, it's very high water, a lot of snow has melted and, and it's been raining too, so it's very much water, it's hard to find the spots to fish. But so that will go down slowly so soon it's prime time and that is when I will show them my sea trout samurai like this and now I will brush out the dubbing that I've tied on And on the beneath the fly, I always try to brush so they mix with the already tied in dubbing. And I'll hold away that little bit. And here I I all mostly use the tip, which is perfect because then I don't get tangled in the wing or something. And then I make sure that it's almost the same amount of dubbing around the whole fly. See how this looks. I think it looks quite good. This one I want to be further down on your side. Now that's perfect. And that would be nice. And now we will use some rubber legs. And this time I decided to go with gray and black. Which fits good with the gray and black wings. So just a few loose turns. First on your side. And the other one, no, on my side. And the other one on your side. So a few loose turns. These rubber legs too because then we can adjust them. And I want two on the sides of the wings and I want two underneath. So I just hold them back and then I wind them on, but I still use loose turns. So I'm able to adjust them even more. That looks pretty good. And now I take a little hair clamp, pull them back, 
and then we take some glue on the thread to attach the rubber legs. this and then we just have to put on two hackles and then this a little of course the tungsten turbo cone head and then the fly is done and I can't wait to fish it and then we look again it looks quite good and the two on top I usually cut off a little bit longer than the two on the bottom because the two ones underneath here will have nothing to interfere with no wing or anything so try to make them shorter because those are the two that will uh, really vibrate a little shorter I think Here we go. That looks better. And the only thing left now is two fluffy hackles. There's a, a magenta hackles, magenta hackle, grizzly hackle. So it's a little black and a little magenta, which make this dirty fly really nice. And the fish will definitely see this one. And I tie it all the way into the rubber legs. And then look so the rubber legs are sitting where I want them to. And they do. And then I need my hackle plier. And then we just start to wind this on because we want this to be fat and fluffy and soft. So we don't have to be careful with the turns or anything. Anything. First turn as close to the pos as possible to the rubber legs because we want the fly to be tightly tied. That means that it gets more durable. Now you can see it gets really fluffy and fat in the front here these many turns of a soft grizzly hen hackle and lock that in one two three four five and then i pull in the stem a bit to get it even tighter then we cut the stem off and then it's time for the little comb to untangle the hackle and see that it's an even amount around the fly. Now I can give the wing a little comb through as well. And I think this is, looks really promising. It will swim really good in the water. And now the last hackle will be a black soft hen hackle, just a few turns. But I will use the soft part on this too. Cut a little triangle, attach it on my side, and the hackle plier again. This is my favorite spring fly for sea trout. And you wind this on, of course, as close to the magenta hackle as possible. And you pull back the strands to get them one side of the stem. I want a little bit of the fluffy part here, so I'll keep on turning. Oh no, broke, the stem broke, it doesn't matter, because we'll just keep on winding, 
winding, not whining. Whining is another thing. I haven't been whining yet because it has gone rather good <laughs> to tie this fly. And then we lock that in. One, two, three, four, five. And I pull a little bit in the stem and then we brush it through to see that the black hackle also got a nice spread and untangle the strands. I think it looks quite good. This is, it's wide and it's fluffy and the rubber leg sits good and now the only thing that's left is a magenta tungsten turbo cone head which will hide this little thread head. This is very tight so I will twist it and push it down and then take some glue on the thread and I don't want to wind this forward and I don't want to wind this to the back because I want to be able to hide this little thread head with the tungsten turbo cone in evil magenta, of course. And then just a little bit on top here to get it to sit even better. And then I take my Niklas Bauer pike tube, as always, and push in the cone head. pretty hard like that I broke off the needle but that doesn't matter because I think that I managed to end the fly because before cut off the thread check it out it looks really good underneath nice spread magenta gray and a very nice spread with the peacock curls on top here and then as you can see the width uh, the hackles looks good here i don't know what happened but accidentally i broke off <laughs> one of the rubber legs so the rubber leg is gone here it's not supposed to be that I don't know what I did wrong but just to make it look a little more good now let's get rid of the second one on the bottom too those are the most important ones but yeah I have two rubber legs left on top here so it gets to be a sea trout samurai without rubber legs underneath. <whistles> I have to be more careful next time I tie a fly. But uh, otherwise I think this one looks really good. And I will fish it in my home river. Cut it off three millimeters approximately and then just melt down little by little until it presses up against the turbo cone head and then I take the Fitz dubbing needle to make sure the hole is good and then we can put it back on the vise and fix it up a little there's a little bit of the rubber leg where I messed up I don't want that at all but it wants to be there so this one only gets two rubber legs on top <laughs> whatever but otherwise I'm really happy with this how it turned out and the sea trouts in my home river are gonna have a look at this fly and we will see if they want to take a bite or not.
so thank you guys thank you very much for watching I hope uh, you're happy with it even though I messed up by ripping off the rubber leg underneath I don't know how I did that but it, it had someone something to do with uh, when I broke the needle so I wish you all a great day and if you want to follow my YouTube channel just click on the picture here and uh, the little bell and everything or and if you want to see an old film I made just click here so uh, it's nice to be back and this one I will uh, let you know if I catch anything on it goodbye <laughs>